Russian President Vladimir Putin's alleged biological mother, Georgian national Vera Patina. The 96-year-old Vera Patina, who claimed to be the biological mother of Vladimir Putin but had abandoned him as a child, came forward in 1999. Putin claimed in his quasi-autobiography, first person that he was born and raised in St. Petersburg, the only surviving son of Maria, a factory worker, and Vladimir Putin, a serviceman who had served in Stalin's secret police during World War II. According to him, both of his parents passed away in the late 1990s due to cancer. It has always been very difficult to find reliable information about Putin's childhood, with Putin himself serving as the primary source for most anecdotes. Therefore, the Kremlin was never able to provide a convincing rebuttal to Vera Patina's allegations. On September 6, 1926, in the Russian region of Ochyorsk, Vera Nikolaevna Patina was born. She claimed that she met Platon Privalov, a mechanic, at university while studying agricultural mechanization, fell in love with him, and became pregnant by him before learning that he was married and planning to steal the baby from her because his wife was infertile. She said her son, Vova, was born on October 7, 1950, exactly two years before Vladimir Putin's official birth date, and that she raised him in the impoverished Georgian village of Mateki, located about an hour's drive from the capital city of Tbilisi. In 2008, a local former teacher named Shura Gabanashvili claimed in an interview with the Daily Telegraph that she had taught Russian to Vladimir Putin. This is supported by local records showing that a Vladimir Putin was registered at a nearby school between 1959 and 1960. She explained that his favorite subject in school was Russian because he loved Russian fables. His hobbies included fishing and wrestling. Vera had other children with her husband, a Georgian soldier named Georgi Osefovili, but he insisted she give up her firstborn, so she sent him to Russia to live with her parents when he was nine years old. However, the boy's grandfather placed him in an orphanage a year later. Vera assumed that Putin's parents in St. Petersburg had adopted her son because they were both in their 40s when he was born and had lost two sons at a young age. Vera found out that her son had joined the KGB, and she assumed that was the end of their relationship forever. While watching the news on her brand new television in 1999, she recognized Vladimir Putin as her son because he walked like a duck. The deaths of two journalists who were planning to interview her have fueled speculation that the Kremlin is trying to bury the story. The first was Russian filmmaker Artyom Borovic, who died in a plane crash at Sheremetyevo International Airport on March 9, 2000. He was a prominent Kremlin critic. The second, Italian reporter Antonio Russo, was killed covering the Second Chechen War later that same year. Vera Patina's story may shed light on Vladimir Putin's devotion to the KGB and its successor, the FSB, according to Russian-American historian Yuri Felshtinsky, co-author of The Corporation, Russia and the KGB in the Age of President Putin, 2009. As he was deprived of parental warmth in his childhood, Putin turned to the KGB first and foremost to find a new family and to settle scores with the world that had injured him. While Vera did offer to take a DNA test to back up her story, the Russian invasion of Georgia over the breakaway region of South Ossetia occurred shortly after she spoke to the Daily Telegraph in 2008. I used to be proud of having a son who became president of Russia, she gushed. Ever since the war, I have felt shame. 